Um, I'm Joe Rizzo, the Director for Sales for Concrete Remediation at Ladegree, and this is? You can't forget my name, Elvis, and I'm an Angel Torres, and I'm the Product Manager at Ladegree International for Concrete Remediation Group. So all your SLUs, your patching, your skimming, your moisture mitigation, that's all me and Joe's responsibility. So, so yep. my Elvis mixes. Uh, first, before we even start, did, did everybody catch Ron's talk before. It, it, it's a presentation worth having since he's since he's handed it out. Okay, enough about that. It's, he's a hard guy to follow, so I'm trying to figure out how I can work his momentum and ride it on his coattails. So I'm gonna yell a little bit to get over the drill. If you don't hear me, just please let me know. Lake Free makes a complete line of floor installation, surface preparation, a number of innovation products. But here today, we're about to talk to you about one specific product within the surface preparation company remediation line. We have developed a new skimming and patching tool called Simlight. I see some faces. I didn't know we had a microphone. This is fancy. Oh, this is good. I can say my mom. I didn't even realize. So I see some faces as I said the word skin. There's a few people that are kind of looking around really? A skin? Another skin? Why? We have taken a totally different approach than looking at products that are able to skin and how the best way to achieve the skin is for the ease of the job and for the safety of the hand. We have not tried to use the typical approach um, and on this kind of a product. Our aspiration was to develop something that was different. So if you have to work a little harder to get your attention because you do skin and maybe the are over a little bit, hopefully by the end of this 30 minutes, we'll see that there is a difference. Let me start with some basic parameters about the truck. First of all, it is lightweight. The first time I come up with that is, well, it's like a typical bag of skin. We're usually talking about 10 or so packs of material. What's the big deal with your skin to paint? A few things. Lightweight is not only about the weight of the bag and having to carry it, but it is about the flexibility of the material. A material that is lighter in weight and can actually give 40% more coverage. In addition to the economy of that additional coverage, will also be easier for the mechanic to, to place. Also because of that, you can skin tighter and thinner to get the smoothest possible skin. There is no restable silica in this product. So any, any silica concerns, any silicosis concerns, are something that simply do not exist with, with our skin light. It uses a, a completely um, different type of micro aggregate to achieve what it does. We call it a skim. But it can be built up to one inch, so it can be built, used both for skimming and for ramping. Correct. And one, one thing to touch upon that uh, Joe was, was talking about a little bit earlier about lightweight, it's about 40% light, lighter than your typical skim product out in the market. And what you were learning from Ron today earlier, you know, cubing out trucks weight-wise or space-wise, I mean, you don't think about it, but that makes a big difference. You can pack a lot more of this stuff into a truck, get more material onto a job site, we do packaging material on a nice metro pallet. There's 96 bags per pallet. So nice, efficient, fits on those freight elevators, those very small elevators on the project sites. Very easy, accessible, and can be placed anywhere. And I'm just gonna kind of show you the consistency of the product on these different boards, and Ron, I mean, and uh, Joe will continue talking. Oh, Ron, 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 Ron can pick up the microphone too. Yeah, that's true. So this, this goes without saying, but it, uh, the product does not require a primer. You simply need a, a clean, sound substrate. Does that include uh, non-porous substrates too? 
you can do it with non-porous substrates. There right. is a there is a high level of um, stickability in bond. Let's put it that way. Okay, so non-porous with, without a primer. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not porous without a primer. We yeah. do adhere well to vinyl and stuff like that, even without even using an additional admix, which is typically common. You know, vinyl. You know, uh, they typically like to add an additional admixture to bump up the pump, uh, the amount of polymer. This is pretty well iron rich with those type of ingredients. It's also fiber reinforced, so any for any flexibility, you know, in those substrates such as plywood, OSB. It also, because of its lightweight, it's only eight pounds, but volume-wise, you're talking about about 13 pounds worth of volume. So you're able to get really high coverage rates. So you're getting coverage rates of almost 400 square feet to a bag out of skin, which is pretty impressive and it's really hard to compete with that in the market. One idea that we had with the skim light when we were developing it was just taking a bunch of different ideas in the market and combining it into one product, right? So distribution would have to carry six different skims that do multiple different things. Some people may have one just for that's fiber reinforced, one that's this, one that's that. This product is also caster wheel safe. So once it cures, its surface is so strong. Actually, it has a stronger surface than even our overlayments that you'll be able to go over it with like, let's say you're doing a hospital job and you can push a bed with those hard caster wheels, it won't break down, it won't fall apart, which is great. 100% relative humidity that the substrate can have, that the product can go over. Let me hear from somebody in the audience when we talk about skims and patches. What does everybody talk about uh, as far as being important in a patch, specifically to the to the mechanic, to the outerwear. It's, it's a, I'm sorry, somebody said? You're absolutely. Time. Yep. Absolutely. You're looking at about, depending on the temperature, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, it's dry, then you can start, you know, either sanding it down if you want to do that, or just putting a, the glue and piece of over it and laying down your floor. So, the, one that I, the one that I was getting to was feel. Everybody oh. says that skins are feel products, and we are comfortable with a particular type of feel. We have found and we have done extensive, extensive testing, field trials with this product, with contractors, not just our people. And we have gotten very, very positive reviews and commentary on how the material comes off the trowel without rolling, without gumming. Yeah, there, to Joe's point, there's no test to measure that. It's real nice when you have a test and you say, okay, what's my compressive strength? What's my flexural strength? And you can gauge it with a mechanical test. The thing is, which is the hardest thing, is to feel. So, skin light's very unique because it's creamy in the beginning. So you can fill in, like what I'm doing right now. And I'm, I'm, I know some of you guys can smoke my traveling skills. I'm just over here, you know, trying to give you and, guys and an idea. And we hope you do. I mean, yeah. yeah, and we do have an additional board. We've got more boards, so, so you can come up here come up and smoke try. his trial. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's the hardest thing to gauge. So we did over a year just talking to different contractors, looking at what they want and need. So this product's pretty unique because its feel is, it's creamy in the beginning, and as it starts curing, it starts building a little bit of body. So if you want to start patching, it can go up to an inch thick. So you want to start patching some boys, whatever like that, and then you're like, oh, I want to go back to that creamy consistency. You just re-whip it without adding additional water and it regains that consistency that you see. So it's a real like, you know, jack of all trades in a way. So not only having all those features and benefits, but additionally kind of being user friendly as well. The water ratio stays the same, whether you're going an inch or-, or Yeah, two, two quarts of water. That's all it requires. So, and we, re we recommend that mortar style mixer with the four, the cage they call it. Um, I just uh, throw it to my showing them what I'm talking about. And easy, just a cage like that, and you mix it for three minutes, and you're good to go. A nice, good mix, scrape down the sides of the bucket, or you know, make sure you're hitting that drill on, on each side, getting a little of that dry material in there, and having a well mixed uh, product. And, and we really do recommend this, this particular type. We've seen that it does make a difference. Um, by the way, the product can be volcano mixed. Anybody knows what volcano mixing is for Patrick Skim? Anybody that wants to volunteer? Yes, sir. Look at that. See that? A, I, I, a I gesture is worth a thousand words I, right there. I call it hibachi style. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So they're looking, <laughs> I made up one unique for it. The quail egg is optional. So. But really the coverage is what, it, it's a huge thing. I mean, being able to go up to that thickness, almost 400 square feet per bag, it's, it's really, 
the value added, the value added there. So again, we're trying to eliminate all those different things that uh, you know, having multiple products as a distributor. And one thing to also note, because of its unique formula and how we're not really using you know, lower grade ingredients, it can go up to 100% RH concrete as well and won't break down. So it doesn't break it. You know, if you're, you can skim a bathroom, which is before like, hey, you know, don't skim in the bathroom because if water falls on it, it'll break it down. No, no problem with this. This product's pretty, pretty rigid, so. Also the product is part of numerous systems stack up warranties um, so that you have complete assuredness from a company that's been around 65 years. We've celebrated just, uh, just now we're celebrating our 65th anniversary. So I, for one, being a newer Lattic Green employee, am particularly proud to be associated with a company. Uh, many of you know us and many of you are getting to know us. Um, I'm gonna say we're just a good company to work with, so. <laughs> Back to, back to the product, after a few minutes, you might look at it in the bucket and it looks like it's stiffened up and is unusable. All it needs to be is to be re-whipped with um, drill. No more water, no re-tempering. If, if anybody's ever had any confusion as to the difference between re-whipping, remixing, and re-tempering, re-tempering assumes that you are adding more water. And that is what manufacturers will always tell you not to do with the vast majority of the sanitation products. There's absolutely nothing wrong with taking, taking the paddle and seeking to remix it, particularly a product that is designed to be able to do. Um, if anyone wants to give it a try, we'll, you know, we have a board yeah. there. If anyone wants to play around with it, just get a feel. Come on. Get a feel for it. Come on, Mike. What's up? Is this a uh, Keynes and uh, Interior? No. no. This is an underwear, and that's a very good point. Yes. These types of products are typically used, well, they're always used interior, and they're, they're used as underlayments, um, mostly okay. on the resilient type floors, but also sometimes on the top of the ladder down the specifics. What was the question? Yeah, you can use it outside. Like, as a fine glass. Yeah. Correct. So, you know, it's kind of like a cartoon. Yeah, uh, please. So, <clears throat> why do we make the bag light and why do we remove silicone? Oh, I know this answer. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good one. My job is on, on the line. When we're talking about 50 pound bags, a big, big part of making a product that's lightweight is carrying the bag. Which leads people to ask, What's the big deal from going from 10 pounds or 12 pounds worth of material, as the case may be with this product, down to eight pounds? Most people can carry 12 pounds easily and it's under OSHA. However, where the difference really comes in is after a while of placing the material, the stress that is reduced by placing a lighter material versus a material that's 40% heavier is actually something that is definitely felt. So we can, we can look at it as a health and safety priority, but also a quality of work. If the mechanic is less fatigued, the quality of the work is going to be better. Yep, and um, I think to, to jump on Joe's point, we've discovered a lot with Multimax Light, which was one of the first products we launched with lightweight technology in it. Then I followed up with 3701 Light, which is a repair render mortar that can go vertically and overhead. Again, using lightweight technology, same, same coverage as a 60 pound bag, but half the weight. So learning all those different things, we, we decided to incorporate that same technology into the skim light. And to Ron's point, um, we, you know, Lady Creek's pursuing a project called Project Safety, which is improving the lives of contractors out there to make them last longer in the industry. You know, to Joe's point, if you're picking, yeah, up, I mean, for them too, not just for the industry. Yeah, yeah. Well, for their, for their, for their, for their health and everything like that. So silica-free, lightweight, you know, multi-step products that keep, you know, that cut down, you know, the application time and just overall a benefit on both ends for the customer and for for the contractor. So another big in this initiative that we're doing. So. Please. <laughs> A plus. 2017, what was the significance of that year for our industry on the manufacturing and the contracting side? 
2017 was the year that the ocean regulation about silica and silica exposure came into effect. After a bit of a transition time where OSHA wasn't necessarily really staying on top of that new regulation, we've now reached the point four years later where it is absolutely being looked at very carefully and it has changed the way we do things when we grind, when we, when we mix, what we are exposed to. So the fact that this product does not have added silica in it, fully in conformance with the regulations, no measurable, doesn't add it to the job site. And let's face it, where, where are we using skims and patches a lot? Renovations. What goes on in renovations? There are other parts of the building that are still open, that are still working. The last thing you want is somebody who knows nothing about what your work is and knows nothing about how diligently you're working to keep their environment clean and safe to then backtrack to a material that may give problems and, and, and cause people to worry extensively. So we have a lot of information online. We have a video online we've been playing in the background as we've been talking. We have some material up here if you'd like to you know, take, that, take that. We have local representation in all the different states. So if you have a project that's coming up and you guys would like to use some, we are promoting this pretty heavily. It was just released in July. Uh, if anyone's not flying or driving, whatever like that, you're more than welcome to take the bags that are, are, you know, let's try to spread that out evenly with anyone who wants to try it, but you're more than welcome to take that. And um, so give yourselves a nice little treat there. And finally, one other thing that we want to discuss, this, um, this toolkit is actually going up in auction right now. We have two <laughs> toolkits that are going up. You know, to complement and assist the contractors on the job site doing these different projects, we decided to come out with a toolkit that's just a little bit different than what we see in the industry. So again, there's two of these going up for auction. I believe the starting bid is $250, which is a great price because of the fact that these toolkits typically retail for about $600 is what's in here. I'm just gonna go over really quick with you guys. So we have a three piece pole in here. We have a cam gauge rake style. So what makes this different than the one that's like those typical rake ones? Well, if you're on a job site and you're in a rush and you bang that on the ground, you're gonna lose the depth of uh, what you set that gauge rake for. So what these are kind of cool, they have cams that go on the uh, at the end. And it doesn't matter which angle you hold the gauge rake, it's gonna always give you the same depth when you're applying a self-building underlayment or overlayment for that fact. So we have all the different cams in here from an eighth inch all the way up to half inch. So really awesome tool, uh, really effective. We have your mixer, your egg beater, that kind of fits very nicely within this barrel. You can go around the edges, get all that dry material at the bottom. We have a spike roller that we recommend for self-loving underlayments only. Only reason being is that when you're doing it over overlayments, you do have a tendency to see the dimples if you're polishing it. And some people like that look and some people don't. So it's really a preference, but really awesome tool, super simple to use for self-loving underlayments. You know, instead of doing the smoother spreader, you just roll this into the SLU and it really levels out nicely. Nice expensive piece there. We do have the smoother, so again, either could be used with a self opening underlayment or overlayment. And finally, which is the creme of the creme, and I know uh, Ron loves these. Um, you know, the typical flat plastic ones that you almost break your neck on using it, running around the epoxy and SLU, we have these nice rubber ones that kind of slip, your boot slips in there and, uh, and grabs it, and they're flexible. So. Ron has been known to wear those at board meetings, <laughs> and it is an attention getter. Yeah, he typically asks us a question, he's like, watch your answer, and he puts his feet on the table with these things on, and you get really nervous, so. But guys, it's an awesome kit, so, you know, there's two of them up for, uh, that are going up, this is one of them, and uh, yeah, let us know if you have any other questions. Again, we have everything from moisture mitigation to SLUs, the patch, the repair, super cap from large to small jobs, you know, from two bags uh, in a barrel to 600 bags an hour with a pump. So let us know if you have any needs, concerns, and we're here to help you during these awesome times, busy so, times. So they, they are on the silent auction? Yes. I, I was good at we seeing them, aren't we? So, so they're set up, they just got set up. We, we, we had them ordered up from our plant and we weren't 100% sure that we'd be able to get them here on time. Um, there's some supply side stuff that's going go, on in the world. Are you going to throw any of your steel light? Uh, well, I mean, like I said, the skim lights for anyone, you know, if they want to take it. I can't take it, Ron. Huh? What was that? I can't get that on the plane. I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, it, it, 
you drive a pretty good bargain, how about this? Um, <laughs> and it's not, it's, we'll throw in 10 bags of skim white, which will ship to whoever gets. The most bags. important thing is that all the proceeds. Huh? Uh, what do you want? We're not increasing. We're not increasing the uh, the the low bid, the low acceptable bid. By the by the way, um, all the proceeds go to the FCICA, and that's important to know. Um, we do a pretty good job hawking our stuff, but the importance of the silent auction is that this great organization. Um, no problem. Whoever is not whoever is not flying, if you're driving, you can. These the other ones. Uh, so, you know, whoever driving, and there's some people want to, you know, you guys can fight for it, so. Do we have any questions? <laughs> yeah, guys, any questions? There was a lot said, but we're really excited with this new product, and uh, yeah, something different in the industry, which we love to do here at Leading Green, so. By the way, you may not be able to see it from your seats, but starting about 10 minutes ago, um, yeah, so we can see the color changes and it's taking off, so, on the, on the parts that are true skin, not the parts where the only thing we require is that Aquafina or Pro. I'm just kidding. There's only triple filter and. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's got to be now for some of the guys who get out Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, appreciate your time, guys. Thank you so much.